Hey Scorpio, welcome to your February general love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. Also, this reading won't resonate with everyone, so just take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? So, Scorpio, for your Romance Angel cards for the month of February, you have healing family issues, codependency with chemistry. All right. There is somebody that is very dependent <clears throat> right now on a connection. I don't want to say obsessed, okay? But somebody is very dependent um, because of the past, because of how they were raised. Uh, could be fear of abandonment issues. Um, you know, they fear of rejection, that kind of thing. But somebody has an insane uh connection with you um and i don't mean in a bad way i mean they really um feel like they have to have you um if that makes sense with that we have sunglasses self-indulgence and i like you this is the same message okay that coming out so somebody's definitely uh keeping an eye on you right watching you but they are having feelings, you know, they're, they have feelings for you and they feel like they really need to be with you. You know, it is really a, a self-esteem type of issue, but, um, they really feel like they need to be with you. I felt <clears throat> when I was meditating, it was like this pull of, you know, oh, I, you know, I ha I need them. I need them. The thing is... It's not that this person could be wonderful for you, right? But they don't need to have you. They should just, uh, it would be nice and want to have you on by their side, right? But there's an, a very intense feeling of this person being dependent on this, uh, the chemistry between you and this connection, okay? So let's get the overall energy. Yeah, the eight of wands, right? So... I feel like you guys right now, you feel like things are, <clears throat> I just heard somebody saying, yeah, out of control. Um, so I don't know if some of you feel like things are out of control. Things are moving fast and all over the place. You know, um, things are just dropping everywhere, like possibly even chaos, I heard. Um, if that's true, I'm sorry, but um, let me see. About this eight of wands. Why is this there? Mm. King of cups. So you might feel that this person, um, or this could be you, could be vice versa, has uh, these crazy intense emotions for you um, all over the place, right? Um, these are feelings of emotion and, you know, wanting to control a situation but not being able to. So I feel like you guys right now, you're moving for fast toward things and trying to, I just heard fix things too. You might even try to fix things as well. <clears throat> um, you do have feelings for this person with the King of Cups as well, but you are sensing that there is a intense dependency here, which is, you know, being codependent on each other. So let's see what's hap what's the current situation. Okay. Current situation we have three of swords, seven of swords, ace of pentacles. Somebody got, somebody's um offer here was rejected, okay? And if this has to do anything with money, um Either this person, I have to say this just because I'm seeing it. Somebody was hurt because somebody could have stolen um, something from the other or money, you know, and this was very upsetting for someone because it was needed. Um, it's something that you couldn't afford to lose. But I just have to say that. It doesn't mean that it is. But I have to put out there it's for someone. Um, but this is something where an offer um, was given 
and it was almost a falsity, right? With the codependency here, it's almost like this person gave the offer um, knowing their intentions were not true and real, right? Um, knowing that it would cause heartbreak in a situation. And I feel like this bothered you guys and you just, you want, you just left, right? Scorpio, here's your card, death card. Current situation, you guys are in your own energy as well, right? We have the death card here. So things endings, things ending, right? And when one door closes, another door opens, but this is permanency, right? Um, things that needed to end are ending and in order for it to move forward, things have to be completely different. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody is willing, I just heard, to come back, come back to give you what they took. So if it's not in uh, dealing with money, okay, this is dealing with an offer, feelings of even those pentacles, it could be an offer of commitment, something that was broken, um, where the intention was not, it w was very clear to you, it was not what they meant at all. In fact, they deceived you and decided to leave with that um, breaking your heart, or this could be you guys as well. But somebody coming back realizing that what they did was a mistake hmm. let's see tell me this ace of pentacles seven of swords three of swords what is this about codependency again we have the devil addictions this could have dealt with addictions um this person could have also retracted from you uh and what was blooming between you two because they possibly had addictions. Could, it could be anything. Uh, sexual addiction, alcohol, drugs, anything like that. Or it could be something as simple as feeling like they are addicted to you in a sense that they don't really want, they didn't really want to have the full thing because they need that, um, they need that drive to make them come back and have that if that makes sense, I feel like this longing of um, wanting to come back and do it again, you know. I don't know. Let's find out. This is very different. Tell me the devil. Yeah, the devil card. So this is what happened here. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, five. We have two fives here. Um, and five of Wands, sorry. And the Lover's card. So that's exactly what I felt. It's like a connection. It's like this person thrived off of breaking your heart a little bit. I know that sounds bad. Not in trying to break your heart, but the, the thrill of somebody, they wanted you to long for them. So it's like they would, the codependency is this. They did they want a relationship with you? Yes. Did they want to um be with you forever? Yes. Did they allow did their shadow side, their addiction side, they wanted you to want them as much as as they wanted you. So they felt like they were addicted to you, that they had to have you. It's like an obsession, right? Um, but they weren't feeling the same from you and it's like they were pulling you and retracting being deceiving hurting you so that you would go in the same spot that they were almost like misery loves company but it's in a, it's it's coming from a place of um lack because of what they went through here in the past in their childhood because you do have the healing family issues so there's something here Boy. And I want to get this right because this is for, I'm reading for a lot of people. So just take what fits with your scenario and leave the rest. But 
what I'm seeing here is somebody that would come come towards you, be sweep you off your feet, make you feel like you are everything, then leave, break your heart, and they do it so that you would come after them and and have that same like obsession. Then they made, quite frankly, it pissed them off that you didn't. But one thing's for sure, you can't play with a Scorpio like that. I don't know who this person thinks that they are, but you can't play with a Scorpio like that. Nobody plays with a Scorpio like that. A Scorpio can just cut you off, stop talking to you if things are getting that ridiculous. Which is clearly what happened here with the death card. Wow. Okay, let's see what this person is doing. No, I want to find out the Knight of Pentacles. What are they? Who's coming back? I just want to see this last thing. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like they want to come back and give a solid offer here. <sighs> wow. They want a new beginning. Empress. New beginning. Okay, let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. This very different scenario here. Yeah, right now, Page of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Hierophants. Hmm. Realize this is realizing that in order to play by your rules. They have to do it the right way. Because they were playing games before. Emotional games. Um, this is almost like emotional blackmail too. You might have felt like they were emotionally blackmailing you. Making you feel guilty. Uh, almost like twisting it. Uh, I don't want to say narcissist. There's another word for it. There's something else I want to say. It's like a mental game of twisting it, gaslighting you to make you feel like it's your fault. Like leaving was your fault, almost. Tell me about the hair font. <clears throat> yeah. So this person still wants to make it happen with you. This person still wants to make sure that they win overall in the situation. Okay. That they don't want to be defeated here at, at any cost. Tell me about the five of swords. Yeah. Um, I don't really like this though. I don't like this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Scorpio, if you're reading. Um, although it's, you know, whatever message comes out, it's meant to come out. They want to make you feel trapped. This is exactly what I said. They want to make you feel like you're trapped in your head that there is no one else but them. That you do need them. You need them. Not want them. You need them. But you don't need anyone. Nobody really needs anyone. It's nice to have and want someone, right? But you don't need anyone to be whole. But it, with the Eight of Swords, the Five, it's like, yeah, keeping you trapped, thinking, you know, they're wanting to play this game. <sighs> and it's immature, right? But coming towards you, being, and it's probably what they've done in the past, too. And it's upset you. Because they come towards you and they want that, you know, they want that feeling. They want that um, feeling of emotion, like, like you are. They say things so that you would say to them back, oh, how much you feel towards them. Then as soon as it gets really, really good, and they feel content with how much that they've heard or what they've seen, then they leave. And it's like they want to, it's like emotional blackmail too. They want to blackmail you into coming towards them. Because they know once they see you reciprocate the same feeling that they do, the codependency, then they feel like that's love, but it's not, you know, they need to heal from this first. 
Let's see how they're feeling about you in the current moment. Scorpio, you are amazing. My mom's a Scorpio. I love her to death. Even though I'm Aquarius. And they say we don't get along, but we have an understanding. <laughs> how they feel about you, world, queen of cups. Chariots, queen of pentacles. All right, this is so clearly they feel like you are their world. We know that, right? They feel they have a lot of love for you. They feel like you are the only one in your world, in their world, I'm sorry, in their world, right? That cup, that cup she's staring at with the world, you are the only one in their world, the center. The only problem is they cannot, they cannot manipulate you to be in that strong type codependent relationship with you just because they feel like they have to have that with you. If that makes sense. I hope this makes sense to some people. All right, let's see what action they're going to take in the month of February. Oof. Wow. Well, I don't know. Sun, four of cups, but I have to trust spirits. I just, I just got God smacked. <laughs> so I don't know. Cause I feel bad for you guys. I'm like looking at this thing saying, oh my gosh, what? I can't imagine what you've been through. And you guys are such, um, passionate, amazing people. You care, you know, um, to ever like run on a Scorpio's emotions like this is wrong. Um, okay. Four cups, sun and justice is the action they're taking. So clearly, uh, with the sun here with the four cups, this is learning and seeing the truth of the mistakes that you've made. Clearly, I guess this person is going to see the, see what their actions, um, have done and how it's hurt people here. Tell me about the justice card. Why is this here? <laughs> I was just told, don't worry. You're going to find, you're about to find out. So let's see. I'm with the justice card. Ah, okay. I'm told to do one more. I'm going to follow. Four of Pentacles. I see why I was told not to worry. Justice is working out in your favor, right? So the thing is, is the karma here mm -hmm. so the universe has actually pulled this person back uh and it's because of the karma that they've put out to you they're gonna receive back all right there's gonna be a lot it's just like the universe is pushing them to do a lot of self-work here a lot um this is happening and the reason this person the what they're doing um, for the month of February is, you know, learning and seeing their mistakes and their faults is because karma, you know, what you put out, you get back and it's about time for this person's lesson. So that's what's going on. Let's see how Scorpio, let's see where you guys are at. Who cares about, um, I don't want to say who cares. I'm so mean. I mean, it's about you guys anyways. It's your reading. It's the month of love, right? And it's an appreciation. <clears throat> yeah. So for you guys right now, we have the Tower, King of Wands, Nine of Swords. I feel like you guys right now, I feel like in your head, you're, it's like you're feeling like, well, this ever, is this ever going to end? Will this person, will this ever end with this person? Is this going to be like this forever? Um, I've already cut this person off. This person's been cut off. I do have a lot of passion for this person. I do care about this person, but enough is enough. You know, for you guys, Scorpio's like, if something's toxic, you're like, go away, you know, cut it off. <clears throat> Tell me the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Is this ever going to work? 
will this ever come full circle? Will it be healthy? Tell me about this tower card. But you've already cut them off, so I'm feeling like maybe, guys, you do still want um, something with them with the King of Wands here. Tell me about the King of Wands. Yeah. Um, also deciding to, I think, if you do not want this person back, definitely you guys are looking towards the future and seeing, um, looking for the red flags in the future of what you do and do not want. Realizing that this is a lesson to be learned and you will not accept the same qualities that this person has given to you or what they have done. Uh, we do have the tower card here. <clears throat> with the three of pentacles so it's like i see a duality here some of you for a group of you are want you're keeping that hope alive a little bit even though you're you, you're distancing yourself you're keeping that hope alive for another group of you you're like i just really want to take this learn from this this was really toxic and i want to make sure that i don't repeat this because the smartest thing to do would for this to never occur again. All right. Is there any advice we can give Scorpio? Do you have any advice for Scorpio for the month? Yeah. Let things uh, let things uh, be where they should be. Okay. Just let it lay, basically. Um, stay in your, you know, listen to your intuition. You guys are really good at that. Um, very intelligent, listening to your intuition, king of swords, think logically, stay out of your emotions, right? Process the situation, realize that there is nothing you can do at this point. The universe is in control of this situation. And, um, you know, some things have to be sacrificed. You know, if this love, if this person cannot change and make the decision to change, then, you know, your advice is take the logical approach, listen to your intuition, listen to what your your body is telling you, and make that decision for yourself, okay? If you want this person, if you don't, it's okay. I always say it's your free will. This is just information for you, okay, to understand a little bit more insight. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys. You're amazing people, okay? Um, I wish you all the best for the rest of February and, um, things are just going to keep getting better. Okay. All right. You guys have a good one. Okay. Love you. Bye.